Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about Cloud Opus 4.1, a new model released by Cloud Team just like five hours before, as you can see over here. And we're going to talk about the power of the Cloud Opus 4.1 comparing to its procedure and also with Sonnet 4, as you know, the popular model right now. So you can see uh, over here that the Cloud Opus 4.1 is an upgrade to Cloud Opus 4 on the agentic tasks, real world coding and reasoning which is pretty amazing because you can see that it has got quite a lot of improvement based on their paper, as you can see over here. They say that they, are, they have improved the total performance uh, in the coding like 74.5 percentage on the SWE bench verified. And as you can see that over here, it has completely improved from Sonnet 3.7, Opus 4 and 4.1, which is awesome. And they have also told that the GitHub also noted that the Cloud Opus 4.1 has improved across multiple capabilities relative to the Opus 4, with particular notable performance gain on the multi-file code refactoring. And also the Rakuten group has also found that the 4.1 excels in the uh, pinpointing exact corrections with large code base without making unnecessary adjustment or introducing bugs. I am going to show you a demo on the exact same thing in this particular demonstration to show you how my existing code that I was writing with the Playwright C Sharp.net has improved overall compared to Sonnet 4 with the Opus 4.1. And I can see that the, the way it writes the code is very clean. Also, it's to the point, not writing a lot of boilerplate codes, a lot of naming convention changes and things. That is what exactly that we're going to be talking about in this particular video as well. And finally, the Windsurf reports the Opus 4.1 delivers a one standard deviation improvement over the 4.0 uh, on the junior development benchmarks and stuff. And that's a benchmark as you can see over here. It has quite improved uh, compared to the rest of these models. See that the Cloud Sonnet 4 is just 72.7 percentage on the agentic coding, whereas the Opus 4.1 is 74.5 percentage. So the improvement is quite tremendous as you can see. Just compared to the Gemini Pro, this is completely different from that. It has improved a lot over here. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this Cloud Opus is gonna work. Well, I'm gonna do it in a real world scenario. So this is something that I have tried in the period of C-Sharp and framework design by just giving one single code which is generated from the Playwright code gen and I wanted to see how it is going to write the code. And while I tried with the Sonnet 4, it started to write the code but the way it writes the code over here is it's not that bad to be honest but the naming convention is a bit more needs to be aligned. As you can see, I'm asking to write a full framework with Playwright C Sharp .net, including all the best practices like dependency injections, page object model, separation of concerns, X unit framework, run the test in the containers for the code that I just copy pasted from the generated code of the Playwright code gen. And you can see that it is giving me very good coding structure to be honest. Not anyone can write this kind of better coding. But the problem is, see, it still uses the driver where it says iWeb driver factory because we're not in the Selenium world where we can write this iWeb driver, right? We are in the Playwright world where we don't even use web driver, but still this, uh, the Sonnet 4 thinks that this is an Selenium for some reason. And it's see web driver factory is being used. And then it says web element extension and also we, uh, weight helpers and all those things. So weight helper is not even required in Playwright as you know, because Playwright all automatically waits for most of the elements, but it's still creating that structure. And, uh, and it's just writing the code over here. I mean, I know this is not quite bad to be honest, but this is something that it can be improved a lot as well. But I'm gonna ask the same exact question with the with the uh, Cloud Opus 4.1 and you will be mind blown to see like how that actually works over here. So I'm gonna go to the new chat and I'm gonna go paste this guy over here. I'm gonna choose the Cloud Opus 4.1, the latest and the greatest model that we have got today. Uh, and I'm gonna copy paste the code. So I'm gonna copy that code and I'm gonna paste it over here. So this is a generator code that I have copied from the, uh, uh, from the Playwright code generator. And I'm gonna ask the same exact question with the Cloud Opus 4.1. And you will notice that it is gonna start writing a comprehensive Playwright with C Sharp .NET code. And you can see over here, see how clean this code is actually. I was not just making it up, but you can see that how amazing the code has been written. It's not very complex to be honest. It's very simple to the point and they're writing the configurations over here. They write the extensions like Playwright extensions, no web driver, all those boilerplate things, never. So it's writing that and it's writing the base page and base test. And then it's creating a Playwright frameworks dot pages where it's creating the page structures. And it also creates the details over here. This is, 
this is to be honest it's quite amazing because it is not very uh, it's not really generating any boilerplate chords and is writing things way much better comparing to sonnet and i think i really love this model to be honest because it's it's doing something which is more amazing in terms of the dependency injections what it is creating over here and also the way it's writing the code it's not to be honest very cumbersome but if i just compare the exact same thing with the sonnet 4 it was writing so many chords to be honest and many code are not even relevant for the code that we are also writing and that is one of the major improvement that i can see comparing to the sonnet 4 model and also i think the way if we can use the same model the opus 4.1 with the agenetic operation i think it's going to be excel on that particular field as well because as we have seen in the website over here they have told that it has improved, the Opus 4.1 has improved, especially in the agenetic tasks, real world coding and reasoning. So I think because we have got these capabilities in Cloud Opus 4, I'm sure that the agenetic task is going to be completely improved comparing to the uh, compared to Sonnet uh, 4 model. Well, as that said, I think this model is quite amazing comparing to the way it's writing the code. And as you can see that it has already pretty much written all the code, uh, including the, the base page uh, where the locators are strictly sitting on the top and then it's writing the method over here which is awesome and then it is also doing the exact same thing for the other page as well and it is inheriting from the base page where the base page is going to be the reusable page but it holds all the uh, all the locators and things see that it's, it's holding all the i page steps of the playwright it's going to say is page loaded wait for the page loaded wait for the page loaded uh, async uh, and things so it's doing all these things for us over here which is awesome and fabulous and this code is to be honest very very neat and it also gives you the 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 project structures the app settings file that you need to put in and also it's create the fixtures that we need with the ie async lifetime amazing uh, and finally i'm just expecting it to have a test yeah look at that we also have got the test uh, which has got the different combinations of the the permutations and combination of tests that we need uh, and we also need to have the docker compose file but you can see that it says that the, the, uh, the response is um, passed because the cloud reached its maximum length but we can still hit continue to nudge the the model because i'm using the pro version of this particular cloud so just going to keep continuing but if you're using the free version i'm sure you're going to hit that bottleneck and you're not going to use it and i don't think you can also use the opus 4.1 immediately but but yeah you can see that it is already generating the docker file it's going to be containerized this particular test for us and it's going to run on the docker container as well so everything is amazingly improved in the coding perspective and I see that this is this model is quite amazing. So let me know your thoughts on how you are going to use this Cloud Opus 4.1 in your workflow and how you see the improvement compared to Cloud Sonnet 4. And if you have any comments or maybe something I'm missing in this particular video, please let me know in the comments below. We can talk about it. We can even create a video on the Cloud Code and how we can use the exact same thing with the agents uh, with, the, uh, with the Cloud Code Opus 4.1. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.